Hello, all my Aries friends. Um, this is Maxine Taylor, America's first licensed astrologer. And I have got your fabulous forecast in front of me. Um, first, I want to invite you guys to, if you're interested in learning about you, and I don't mean... Gener uh, generally, I mean, if you would like to attend a workshop that I have been invited to present by Dr. Arlene Dianco, um, the multi-level MD, um, it's coming up this month. Let me tell you what I'm what I'll be doing, and if you are interested in learning what's right about you how marvelous you are. You, you'll be interested in this. It's a full day from 10 to 4 on December 14th. Okay, you got two weeks on your market set and go. Um, if you are interested, you'll everybody will get their birth chart. I will explain exactly every single planet to you so that you fall in love with you. Those of you I have read, you know that I tell you what's right about you. We are a spirit in an earthbound body. How could there possibly be anything wrong with us? But if you interpret the movie that is your life, oh, it's like Flaw City. So I'm just saying, if you're interested um, go to my website, MaxineTaylor.com. Um, I'll give you all the information and you can sign up. I'll, I'll, I'll give you uh, Arlene's information. It will be taking place in her offices. As I said, uh, what did I say here? Um, sa uh, Saturday, December 14th. Yeah, let's hear Mercury ret retrograde. So let's start with that. We've got Mercury uh, going direct on the 15th. Have you noticed how crazy everything is? And you might say, well, everything's been crazy. Uh, well, sure. Uh, Mercury rules communication, correspondence, and transportation. And when it's retrograde, it just knocks over all the, um, the pins, so to speak. Uh, you, you make plans and they're changed. You have nothing to say about it because they've got a good reason for it. Mercury is going to go direct on the 15th. It'll move into the shadow for a couple of weeks, of course, just because that's what happens when a planet goes direct in motion. Okay, as if that were not enough, Mars, the planet of war, Passion, sex, uh, violence, impatience, uh, you get the picture. It is in the shadow of the retrograde. So it feels just like Mars is retrograde. It's going to go retrograde on the 6th, which is very, very interesting. Um, and so when Mercury goes retrograde, everything is confused. When Mars goes retrograde, everything stops. And you'll see it in um, industry and commerce. It's just like, um, that's how it manifests. And so getting things off the ground when Mercury's retrograde or Mars is retrograde, uh, wow. Uh, Mars will finish the final um, visit uh, to us and um, the final uh, retrograde visit and the uh, shadow visit that's all in one uh, in April. And I'll give you the dates of, of that. So what Mercury says, hurry up. Let's go. And Mars says, I don't think we're going anywhere. 
So when you see that, just know you are not going crazy. It's that Mars that likes to carry the gun on the hip and Mercury that likes to talk and communicate and all that. They're either retrograde or in the shadow of the retrograde. Delightful. So let's talk about... Um, oh, forgot to mention that Mar Mercury goes direct on the 15th. Uh, I don't think I emphasize that enough. That means we're, you, we're going to feel it for half of the month. And then it will be in the shadow of the retrograde, which is sort of like redundant, you know. And then, of course, Mars is going to be retrograde for uh, a few months. Just, and we'll see this in, as I said, commerce, industry, and politics. Oh, yes, politics. So let's just start here. Jupiter, the greater benefic. It's in your third house. It has been in your third house. It's retrograde, but it opens your mind. Jupiter is truth and freedom and, and honesty and money and the big picture. And even though it's retrograde, um, it is shedding its light on your conscious mind and you've got great ideas and you want to share them with certain people. Um, I would suggest short trips. That's the third house. Uh, it looks really good for that. Okay, now let's talk about Mars. Remember, it's going retro. It's in your fifth house of passion and children and sports and fun. And it's retrograde for several months. And so it may be frustrating because um, Mars will go retrograde on the 6th and won't come out of the shadow, the final shadow, until I believe it's April. Nice, I know. Nice. Okay. But we'll get used to that. We've had it before and we've lived through it. So let's go up here to the top of the chart. The sun, the yellow planet, the giver of life, the center of our universe is in your ninth house of truth and honor and higher education. You see the big picture. You understand human nature. It's really positive. I love it. Mercury goes direct. Um in your ninth house, and that opens your eyes to clear thinking. You know, when Mercury's retrograde, I always tease and say my lips are not working as a team. They're not, absolutely not working as a team. And uh, communicating, even with when it's in the shadow, it's the same deal. And so Mercury goes direct, um, in the middle of the month, but it goes into the shadow. So don't think that you're going nuts. You're not. And Mercury says, I want to get on a plane and go somewhere because the ninth house is long distance travel, communication, correspondence. Okay. The center of our solar system is the sun, the giver of life. And so... When it is in that ninth house, you see the big picture. Uh, when you see the big picture, you're ahead of the pack. It's that simple. Now, on the 21st, the sun moves into your 10th house of career and public image. And you may be offered an advancement at work. Uh, I don't know that I would accept it because it seems like the whole world is retro. So you are a natural leader and it shows and you'll see it after the 21st when it moves into that 10th house. Now, Venus, the pink planet, 
is the planet of love and beauty and money. It is the lesser benefic. So we've got Jupiter, the greater benefic, Venus, the lesser benefic. With Venus in the 10th house, your popularity um, soars and you enjoy being the leader. On the 7th, Venus goes into your 11th house of humanitarian organizations, of um, universal outlooks. It's, it's really the humanitarian in you uh, emerges and you love being with people of like mind. I love that for you. That is so cool. Okay, let's talk about the new moon and the full moon, shall we? The new moon is today. Today is December 1st. It sits in, well, it's in 9 Sag 33. It's in your ninth house. And so you're seeing a much bigger picture. You may want to get on a plane to some foreign country. It's like spread your wings. I want to I want to get out of Dodge here. But you're seeing a much bigger picture. Um, and you it this gives you a natural understanding of human nature. Two weeks later on the full moon, that's when everything comes to a head. Um, on the 15th, which is very interesting, don't you think? Because of Mercury going direct on the 15th also. Expect events um, in the arena of um, communication, um, the press, the news, when we have two events like this, the full moon, which brings everything to a head, um, or um, which differs from every everyday activity, um, and Mercury going direct, of course, and the full moon on top of each other, boom, things are going to be happening. Okay? You might say, well, of course, they're already happening. Um, I think it's going to be just a little bit more dealing with the press. I'm just saying. Okay. Uh, and so everything explodes, and not literally, but figuratively, please, God. And two weeks later, after the dark of the moon, we have a new moon. Uh, that's on the 30th of December, and the new moon is in 9 Capricorn. This amplifies and um, increases your public image. If you are offered um, a, an advancement at work, this is an honor, but with Mercury unstable and Mars unstable, I'm not sure I would accept it. Okay, you are the natural choice right now for leadership. But whether or not you want to put up with all the stuff that's going to be flying, you and, and you're not up for, you know, a whole new start, so to speak, that would be logical, very logical. So I think that covers it. Anyhow, um, Play as much as you can with Mars in that fifth house. Have fun. Uh, play games. If you have kids uh, or pets that you are, are like your children, spend time with them. Uh, go to sporting events. Go to social events. Get out there and enjoy yourself. Take the time that you have uh, to enjoy yourself, to give yourself a positive break and move upward in your career because uh, you're a natural. No, don't take the job that's offered this time. Give it a little while. Okay? So, have a wonderful Christmas or Hanukkah. They are both, they are both on the same day, the 25th of December. 
Uh, very interesting. So till next time, may the stars shine brightly on you and yours. Bye for now, guys. <laughs>